Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. What is this, bro? <laughs> what is this? Where do I put this? Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this. This is the 1990 Maruti Suzuki Gypsy. OG fans, we must remember that there was a vlog which came of the Gypsy, but that was a 1.3 liter engine model. This is a 1 liter engine model, in spite of the fact whatever is written outside. Let's do one thing straight away. Let's open the engine bay, which is actually a bit of a challenge right now because there's this lever which has to be pushed somewhere. Yeah, there's the lever, and there you can see the engine bay has been kept very clean indeed. There's the provision for the horn, and it says. 970 cc right there so you can see the engine obviously right there in front of you which is a smaller 1 liter unit the battery is placed over there there's no insulation here but this is also heavy washer fluid goes into this big dabba and let's just shut this it says suzuki up front and it has this nice grill as well lot of extra lights in fact the headlight is all led with indicator here and it has this sort of a, you know when you go to las vegas and play that game वैसे टाइप का ट्रीटमेंट दिया हुआ है अंदर इफ यू हैव सीन माय इंडियन का कोई तो वीडियो उसमें यू विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से नाउ देयर आर एक्स्ट्रा लाइट्स एट द फ्रंट ऑन द बम्पर ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज द इंडिकेटर दिस इज आई थिंक द डीआरएल इंडिकेटर हियर दिस इज अगेन एलईडी मीनवाइल ओके दीस आर द लाइट्स व्हिच आई वाज शोइंग यू एक्चुअली हुड ऊपर किया था ना तो लाइट मुझे लगी वहां पे एंड देयर हैज दिस रबर स्टॉपर सो व्हेन यू ओपन द हुड नथिंग गेट्स डैमेज्ड एज सच नाउ इट सेज जिप्सी राइट हियर and i believe this thing also can be put down because this mechanism is there for sure and the tires are wider which you can see with the stance of this vehicle in fact ground clearance is kind of very nice and suspension well leaf springs not the best for ride quality meanwhile the wheels are upsized so they are bigger ones here in fact the size of the tires happens to be 215 75 15 i really like this tastefully colored red stripe on this steel wheel sort of a thingy It says for use in Maruti only. Oh God, I was thinking of using it in a Rolls Royce. It says MG four one three W Maruti Gypsy. I think four wheel drive, one point three wide body. So it had a narrow body version as well. But this car does not have the one point three liter engine. Gypsy King one point three. This is not that. Just the sticker has been put. This is actually a one liter engine which is powering this car. Chrome finish here on the outside rear view mirror. The antenna is placed right here. Says Suzuki there. From the side, it looks very sporty indeed. with chrome finish on the rear glass actually that's a tint which has been put which is really nice and bright as well says four wheel drive here as well meanwhile there you can see the suspension which offers this car absolutely poor ride quality as well okay it says wide life and stuff like that coming to the rear tailgate mounted spare wheel maruti did it before ford obviously copied there's a camera here which does not work light placement here is on the bottom lot of exposed wiring as well in fact the exhaust is slightly longer now it has been extended there you can see everything as well says gypsy maruti suzuki four wheel drive let's open this which means i have to use my left hand of course and then i press this button and then we open it now this is an eight seater but eight people without heads can sit in comfortably because in spite of having eight seats there is no headrest in this car Now the good thing is that the seat is really long but jump seats are not very comfortable at least side facing seats are not comfortable at all especially with the right quality of this car but it is a people mover and then you can put this up if you want to increase the luggage carrying capacity you don't want to see people you want to keep luggage here no problem just put this up and you can do that as well now there's no footstep to climb in so climbing in can be a bit of an effort because there's no handle as well to hold on to this has this whitish finish i should climb in like this speaker placement i believe and let me tell you there's no concept of under thigh support here in the rear like there is no concept of under thigh support <laughs> and your legs will tumble with the person sitting ahead like nsfw stuff happening right there so headroom is not adequate either but the good news is there's a handle here to hold on to when body roll kicks in and there's a fan placement here so there you see oh my god what a breeze right now dashboard actually looks quite nice old but functional for sure and everything almost is stock here like almost everything is stock other than that steering wheel which will make you hungry i'll tell you why in a bit <laughs> lot of exposed bits here and there but seat belt for the driver which is a revolutionary feature co driver does not get that luxury at all i think the seat belt did not even come maybe they put it just for the driver who knows who cares let's get outside and head to the front 
there's some wire which is dangling but that's something unique or normal with such old cars how does this open this does not open pascal are you freaking kidding me oh uh, no it does open let's get in and try and open that as well which means that i have to put my hand here uncomfortably ergonomics was not the thing back in the day and there it opens brings in some airiness other than the fact there's a fan as well so in case body roll kicks and you want to puke that is where you should do it but swaj bharat for the win that's i put it in a plastic bag let's open this again mm, you know why because there is jack where is rose where is the spare wheel of the car it's here of course now let's get to the front from here peekaboo i see you <laughs> let's get inside okay if you're hungry you will love momo in fact there you see momo no dead pedal here at all lot of buttons now this button happens to be for the front light which is on the bumper i think and this button happens to be for the light which is on the hood these are two dummy buttons which also lights up this is for the other horn which is not working at the moment these are the controls for the you know, lights of course i have turned on the headlights so i'll just shut them for a moment like i was telling you no headrest at all even for the driver or the co-passenger anyone seated at the front no power windows you have to manually operate it no door pockets but yeah listen to this shuts with a proper thud as well not much of a space inside there's a glove box which is lockable which has the spare wipers there's an ashtray here so there has to be a cigarette lighter somewhere or the other this is the choke button these are the switches for the air conditioning ac vents here one dummy one in the center just to hold on to when body roll kicks in in fact there is no mirror here there is no mirror here but thankfully there's a mirror here which is important enough there's a fan right there for the front guys as well thank you so much i feel so nice now this is for the indicator of course the steering wheel has a horn <laughs> horn is nice actually the steering wheel is good to hold but no power assist as well and this is the control for the wipers let's use the wipers okay spray happens once and then you have to operate the wipers manually and wherever you decide to shut it there is where it's going to stop so you have to like time things oh god my timing is so poor oh now finally you managed that there's a provision for a camera this uh, aftermarket system is fully exposed from the side as well meanwhile this is for the four wheel drive system the lever this is for the gear of course and uh, yeah the instrument cluster is very very basic yaar itna basic kaise ho gaya you get a speedometer you get an odometer that's about it fuel meter temperature meter four wheel drive and telltale lights that's uh, telltale lights are here in the center indicator switch there so if i give an indicator yeah there it it's so dull you can't even see it as such and i think there's a microphone here probably that is a tweeter or something of that sort does this open uh, uh, yeah it does what exactly is it i have no clue whatsoever anyways let's do one thing let's start driving right away condition is actually good of this guy like it hey by the way there is a mirror here okay so you can see what there on the left side abhi dikha mujhe There's no seat belt. What are you searching for? <laughs> Let's start this car. Ah, doesn't start only sometimes. Oh, there it does. Into first gear, revving the motor. There is no wheel spin only. You know why? Tires are super duper wide, and <laughs> all of a sudden you see the speedometer climbs from zero to forty, fifty kilometers per hour. The position of the steering wheel will remind you of the car because SA Kia was na that you can't see the full speed only. So poor ergonomics from Maruti Suzuki. Anyways, on the road this car is not that great, which is not a bit. It's quite a bit of an issue. You can see it moves all over the place. The ride quality is not nice because of the leaf springs, of course. Which means that it's best to drive this car off the road. इसलिए हम फट से एक turn लेने वाले हैं. And the turn is here. Now it doesn't have power steering, so there's quite the effort of turning. Yeah, turning this is. Oh my goodness. Now here it feels slightly better, but more the people in the car, the better this car feels for sure. Ride is somewhat better off the road, but still bouncy enough. and lot of sound as well thankfully we have a better road ahead it moves all over the place suspension is not that refined as such the engine is not having any power so it struggles because this is a 1 liter engine and this 1 liter engine produces just 60 horsepower i think 18 newton meters of torque it's carbureted of course so that's the reason they came up with a 1.3 liter engine which was carbureted and then they came up with the 1.3 liter engine which was mpfi as well so upgrades happened but this is actually a very light car just weighs around 1000 kg 985 kg for this car so it's an extremely lighter car not that fun to drive on the road it's better off the road of course and then because of the uh, steering having no play whatsoever look at this rather having too much play it's not that mm, like predictable where it's pointing to handling is not good quite a lot of body roll because of the height of course and uh, 
more than that engine is also very noisy and boomy it doesn't have punch feels slightly peppy lower down but then it becomes very boomy so nvh is kind of missing here a lot of vibration which can be heard and the handling characteristics are poor steering is not that great it's just really off the road it excels and the gypsy had a huge fan following in india or other still has it and the resale it commands is mind bogglingly phenomenal mainly purely because there was no option at that time now obviously we have the thar that's the reason maruti suzuki is like ek kaam karte hain let's discontinue the gypsy now gypsy with a 1.3 liter engine is also known as a gypsy but a gypsy with a 1.6 liter engine is known as a bipsy i don't think it is but i am coming up with my own terms at the moment nice curvy road only spoiled by that uh, truck but since this car has no power to overtake i'm not going to even attempt to try and overtake because i'm not going to make it four speed gearbox gearbox is actually decently slick okay you know where the gear is going as such and obviously the clutch is on the heavier side brakes are not that great seat belts are right now missing in this car so that's also a bit of a bummer but what a beautiful road to ride this car drive this car look at it now you can see everything around that gives you a good view of what's around plus that mirror just shows you the precision line where you are exactly going the vibrations are plenty and uh, because this car has such a bad ride quality it's okay at the front manageable okay for the driver everything is manageable for the co-passengers just about it we trying to overtake him which means momo steering wheel to the rescue with a oh my god it gets so bouncy at the rear i really pity the people who sit in fact you only put your enemies at the rear because the ride is even worse at the rear only thing is more people sit in so the ride becomes slightly better because of the leaf springs that how leaf springs actually work around the corners i understand that it's not that fun but then not fun because it just rolls all over the place that's it i think i've come in fourth gear which is kind of achieving nirvana top speed should be around 110 115 km per hour 0 to 100 km per hour might take a lot of time like 20 plus second but that's fine and on the bumps you better avoid them otherwise you face this zahur where is the off road trail oh all these are uh, part of it okay Maybe this is the off road trail okay fine <laughs> we don't need four wheel drive for that naturally this is a real wheel drive car and then obviously you can get into four wheel drive as well but even real wheel drive it's very capable because it's a light car and it's like a mountain goat so zahur did not take me off road he went for the ride quality test where this car miserably fails because listen to oh my goodness i, I should have just climb up this thingy <laughs> anyway you, you can help me oh you never know that might be the trail <laughs> where is the trail though Okay, the trail is coming. It's a very nice car for uh, rallying, of course. Oh, woof! Compared to the Thar, this is a lot of effort. The new Thar, compared to the old Thar, both are very similar. They require a lot of effort to drive, but the Gypsy feels slightly more, uh, how would I put it, uh, refined in that regard. It's not very refined as such, but compared to the old Thar, this seems very much more refined. Reliability was where this car actually. excel beautifully well that the thar actually faltered but now the new thar is changed the game completely and uh, the new jimny is not going to uh, you know this is the second generation of the jimny the gypsy but uh, the new model is not going to be able to take the war to the thar because the new one is just better the thar when compared to the jimny i've driven the jimny in dubai i did not like it at all did not have much power no grunt as such yeah good off the road really good off the road but we need a diesel engine because fuel prices are going through the freaking roof time to take a u turn Now this is going to be quite the effort because you no know, power steering, Momo steering doesn't really help the cause, and then because turning radius is quite the thing here, uh, I'll have to take a reverse for sure. And yeah, from here we are going to get into reverse. Reverse parking camera is not working at the moment at zero speed. The twirling the steering wheel is the most effort I have put in any car other than the Citroen Seven CV. <laughs> okay, b b b b b b b b. Oh God. Guys, don't cross the road. I can't see what's happening behind. Although there, there's a nice view. This mirror is actually quite nice. Shows me everything what's around. Oh my goodness! Finally, we managed this turn. Yeah, and there we go. So we have been given directions of where to head. Exactly. Is that guy with us? The person in the Verna? Because he's telling, let's go here. And I don't believe the Verna is going to go be able to go on that off-road trail. Into first gear, revving the motor. There we go, full throttle. Absolutely, uh, feels them because every time you're playing with the steering wheel. By the way, this uh, one liter engine is having eight valves. So they came up with a one point three liter engine. Again, both of them are calibrated. Again, eight valves. That is known as the G13BA. 
and we have come to a halt which is the trail where are we getting in from are you sure there is something lying there on the floor mm. the uh, pole are you uh, like how will the car go here and swastik where will... illa illa hogi dra madle illa the issue reda swastik where is the bay anyways it's time to get to a trail which is right here isse pehle hame reverse marna padega because yeah turning radius can be a bitch but more than that it's just steering wheel is so freaking heavy it's not my cup of tea or coffee and Let's get inside. Now we've got a full house of brave people who want to commit suicide probably by sitting in the rear of this gypsy, and off we go. Like I told you earlier, it is a mountain goat, and you shall see that that it's got stuck already. <laughs> What happened? You know, no, nothing. Where did it get stuck? Oh, is that stone or what? What did you do? A block. Okay, he's done the hub lock right now, and this stone is the one which came in between. We get into four wheel drive. It says four wheel drive right there. Into first gear. Now there's not going to be any issue. Yeah, <laughs> mountain goat mode on right away. No issue with all this because we can just go however we wish. Into second gear. This is going to be a whole lot of fun because this trail is long and the gypsy is super capable. It's very rugged, so you don't even bother like going and hitting all these things right in the center. Yeah, baby. Now, if a tree comes in front, we will be able to do an end cap test also simultaneously. So it's like a double boon here. I don't even know where we are going, but wherever, whatever leads, we're just going to go full throttle because when in doubt, throttle it out. into third gear i never expected i would do that a off a trail in a gypsy but anyways this is where it feels so smooth the ride improves dramatically the whole experience changes completely and the car just glides through without any hesitation whatsoever this is why a gypsy is a gypsy it's all about off road ability it does it with such ease and finesse you kind of end up laughing that how does it manage it so smoothly and that's the reason why the military obviously use the gypsy as well and that's the reason why we are going to be jumping any moment now woo into second let me know if anything breaks whoopsie doopsie doo <laughs> lot of vibration but now the suspension is working much better maybe because of the extra load at the rear to really heavy weight people have sat inside this car it's making a lot of sound but nothing will break because that is the ruggedness of a gypsy the way it manages all day all this is absolutely insane and funny as well at the same time that a maruti car which is kind of defying everything else and it's tried and just going without any hesitation This is the fun of a gypsy honestly this is why someone would actually get a gypsy <laughs> it cannot be worse than what we did in the uh, that tata car which we did where are we going we have reached a lake or something <laughs> next i would be inside that oh just shut the car i was coming at such pace you know and i was like let's just go flat picking out and end up in that pond right away so guys this is my vlog of the maruti gypsy absolutely fun fantastic car really love driving it and it has a special feature absolutely phenomenal one see i always keep praising the tata ultros to have 90 degrees doors but this one this has more than 90 degrees this has like almost 180 degrees tick that tata ultros and thank you guys for being the guinea pigs by sitting here how was the ride quality we just uh, touched the roof twice and came touched the roof twice that happened with me also in uh which which car you guys are incompetent passengers yeah. and on that disappointment time to end thank you so much for watching bye bye